common people like you But she didn't understand She just smiled and held my hand Then turned flat and burned and shot Cut your hair and get a job Smoke some friends to play some food Said you'll never went to school But still you'll never get a fight But when you're late Welcome to a guitar tutorial for the song Common People by Pulp, but this video is also part of the Andy Guitar Band program where we're learning a set of songs, learn all the guitar parts to them, and then play them along to my band, the Andy Guitar Band, which you will be able to do at the end of this video. We'll have the full live track with my band where you'll be able to see all parts uh, at the end of this video and we'll be learning all parts in this tutorial. Um, in an effort to make this particular song accessible to as many people as possible, we're going to be covering how to play a very easy way where we only have to play one finger chords for the whole song uh, with using a capo at the third fret. We'll also cover how to do this song without a capo at all and how to play the lead parts uh, that Thomas was playing, the other guitar player in uh, the Andy Guitar Band. In the band performance on the day I was using my Victory Sheriff 22 with exactly the same settings as we did with the previous song tutorial which was Teenage Kicks. So channel one, volume one, with the volume or gain essentially uh, about four out of ten. I'm simulating the exact same thing here with a Boss Katana 100 which is what you'll be hearing in, in this tutorial. This is all I'm going to be using for every song tutorial on this in this series because I know a lot of you guys aren't going to be using you know high wattage valve amplifiers in your own home it's a bit crazy to do so so this is a great option there are many others as well and this was on the crunch setting with the gain in the exact same spot EQ is all at 12 o'clock on both amplifiers there was no need to tweak it it was sounding pretty great so as I say we're going to be covering an easy beginner way to play this which would be done by pros as well, there'd be no problem or issue with doing this. Using just three power chords for this whole song, all using just one finger. The A power chord, otherwise known as A5, first finger on string four at the second fret proportionate to where the capo is, the capo is at the third fret. Any capo will do so long as it means that your strings are ringing out nice but I like to use this G7 capo because if any strings aren't ringing out great I can press it, literally press it down a little bit harder to make sure that those strings are ringing out good and it clips off like so. I really like it. Any other capo will do so long as your strings are ringing out with it. That's the A5 power chord. Sometimes I'm going to have my fingers down here but they should really be uh, as close to this position as possible. Thumb directly at the back of the neck. We move this chord up by one string for the E chord. Essentially this is an E5 or an E power chord. Back to the A and then the third chord in this song is a D which when I'm palm muting it in this fashion, you'll see me using one finger. When I'm strumming it in the louder sections, you'll see me play more of a standard D major. I'm rarely catching string one, or I'm trying not to catch string one. So I'm often actually muting that one with this finger. And that's the only time when I kind of encourage not using one finger to actually go for the full D chord. You'll see that happen, we'll have the full play along videos and we'll slow them down and zoom in on them and things. You'll see exactly what we're doing to create the sounds that we did. But this palm mute in action, where we rest the outside of our palm, just here on the inside of the bridge. This is the bridge, the metal, metal part of my D'Angelico Premier DC guitar, which I'm just a huge fan of. I absolutely love this guitar. That is all I'm doing to start the song. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. So chugging eighth notes, as Thomas called it. 
um, because he's not used to playing these type of songs. He does stuff that's a bit more flash than this. I'm quite a chugging eighth notes kind of guy. It sounds great. And that chug sound, you just want, if you're not quite getting it, you just need to either just make sure your gain on the amplifier, the overdrive, or on your overdrive pedal is doing a similar thing to that. It's got a similar tonal quality. And then um, there's a sweet spot. So not too far this way, and not too far this way. Just here, the hairs on the back of my hand, I just, I can feel them hitting here. Find that sweet spot until you find that sound. It's the same on the E. It's four bars of each when we first, um, when you hear the singing, and you can follow a chord sheet and play the whole thing in that way. Or, just to give you a quick overview, without a capo, if you don't have a capo at all, um, you may have absolute success and, and think it's absolutely great to play the, the little lead part that um, Thomas is playing to simulate the keyboards in this song. This is a big keyboard song, really. There's keyboards all over this. Um, but it's quite easy. Okay, that's essentially the keyboard part, but it's quite a similar technique. So we'll be covering that part in full. And if you don't have a capo, but want to do the capoed part, the chords actually, in, in reality, you know, without thinking of a capo at all, are the C power chord, a G power chord, and then we probably play an F here, though thinking about it as a capo, you know, with a capo at that third fret, that's the F power chord, C, G, and C, and then with the capo. Can you see how they're exactly the same chords sound-wise, but the shapes-wise we'd think about them as the A and the E power chord with the capo, and without, we'd be doing the more standard power chord shapes. If you need more help with that kind of thing, you'll find it at andyguitar.co.uk. Uh, all the beginners course, improver course, and intermediate course, just that main syllabus is the thing that I'd be recommending for that, for that general guitar knowledge. And we can even have a slow play along with the band now. This is gonna be really exciting and is hopefully the thing that's gonna make this series stand out more. When we're learning things, we're comparing them to the live band and then playing along with the live band. So let's have a go at this now. We'll start off with that count of four and then playing this section, just the A power chord. And then when from, I start singing. She came from Greece, she had a two. Three, four, that's four bars, and then we're on to the E, and so on and so forth from there. Just following that chord progression, let's have a go at that now. Had a thirst for knowledge. She studied sculpture at St. Martin's College. That's where it all caught her eye. She told me that her dad was loaded. I said, in that case, I'll have a rum and Coca Cola. She said, no. And in 30 seconds' time, she said, I want to live like common people I want to do whatever common people do I want to sleep with common people I want to sleep with common people like you What else could I do? I said, I'll, I'll see what I can do Market. I don't know why, but I had to start it somewhere. So it started there. I said, pretend you've got no money. She just laughed and said, oh, you're so funny. I said, yeah. But I can't see you know that I'm smiling. Wanna live like common people 
So hopefully you can play along to that. Rewind it if you need a few attempts, of course. Um, it's not expected that any of anyone will be able to just play along to something the first time that they try it. It takes a few attempts, and that's the difference between learning something for a band compared to just trying to play the odd riff and stuff in your bedroom. If you want to play along to a live band, you need to work at it and work to playing along with live band recordings, essentially. And then you get into the band practice room with your mates, make a load of noise, make sure that's good and tight, and then you go and play live at a gig. That's kind of how it works. Um, without a capo, if you don't have a capo, as I say, it would be a very similar sequence, but with the C, G, and like common people, you want to do whatever common people do. Sleep with common people. Common people like you. Okay, just using the C, the G, and the F power chord. C, G, and the F. Some people will prefer to play with the third finger like that, just first and third. But if you're unsure, use the capoed version and you'll go for it. Let's get on to learning the lead lines now. So Thomas is playing this. And I'm palm muting that in exactly the same way that I would palm mute these chords. And you're just copying both what the synth line's doing, but it's copying the vocal as well. She came from Greece, she had a thirst for knowledge. She studied sculpture at St. Martin's College, that's where I. So that is a couple of notes from a C chord, essentially going to a C sus4, only holding down the fifth fret, string two and three. And then it is sixth fret and seventh fret. For essentially a G7 chord, there's our G7 chord going to a D chord. Triad shapes, if you want to learn kind of more about how these lead lines are come up with and, and how you would know to put your fingers here to play them, you essentially want to cover triads, G chords, triads. Something that I cover in my intermediate guitar course if you want to support this series and support me what I do buy my guitar courses essential and you'll learn how to play things such as this. Sorry for the plug. So make sure you've got the rhythm in the C position first. Again, just palm muting. Slight accents. You know, there's a difference between hitting both strings and just sometimes hitting one. the difference that you hear in there and then when we go to the second chord the G7 chord at I she told me that her dad was loaded 
I said in that case I'll have rum and coke cola She said fine And in 30 seconds time Then we go here Because we're on the F chord now Which would be like this So that was the F chord essentially Again Knowledge of triad shapes There's not only one way to play an F chord on that lyric, it would be I wanna live like common people I wanna do whatever common people do I wanna sleep with common people I wanna sleep with common people like you And you'll often see Thomas kind of when we're strumming the chords he often strums just kind of a one finger C chord like this Not doing the bar chord, you know, not like this In the traditional position Like an A major bar chord A uh, bar chord, he's using Because I'm filling in those root notes We got the bass player filling in that C note Didn't need to play it Sometimes playing the G power chord And uh, going from there, I think the other chords that he would have played I've been here, here, and here. You've also got the F chord there when it goes to that F um, in the song. You want to live like common people? It's always an F on that lyric, which should really help you. Let's have a look at the solo. What I did for the sound here is just um, activate my Tube Screamer, TS-808, and uh, I'm simulating that on the Boss Katana by putting a booster pedal. Um, in f what would essentially be in front of the sound here. Um, this has all the effects pedals that Boss have, and that's what I'm using to demo all the sounds on this video and in this series. Playing this the same way that I did with the band, it would be like this. Sing along with the common people. What a tune. What an absolute tune this song is. Okie dokie. So what we're doing here, I keep saying okie dokie, don't I? Apologies. What we have here is um, a few notes from the C major scale. You don't need to know that, but it's good knowledge. And with or without a capo, this would be exactly the same. This is, if I take the capo off just for ease of viewing, but you can imagine that capo is still there if you want, this would be the fifth fret and then the eighth fret. Hitting both those strings together. Middle finger then goes to sixth fret. And then the flat first finger holding down the B string and the G string. I think I keep uh, strumming those in the actual recording, so... Now if you don't have a capo, what, the way it's actually played, or the way I used to play it in the band... is have the G string ringing out. If you have the capo on, can't do that, sounds really bad, you would just play. In the same rhythm. That was 12th fret, 10th fret, and 8th fret. Sliding back up to 12th fret and then hitting 13. Happens again. Mm -hmm. 
Another G triad now. Three notes at the 12th fret. I'm a little bit out of tune, sorry about that, but... To the distinctive rhythm of the song. Again, another... Using the major scale yet again. That is certainly an extra bit, you wouldn't need that. Just to kind of jam along to the song. But after that, uh, we'd be back to an F chord. Sing along with the common people, sing along and it might just get you through. So if we are using a capo, and you know you can play an F chord up here. All these different ways to play the same chords, guys. We've got to start using them if you want to do your own versions of a song like this, which doesn't have prominent guitars in it. It's got a lot of synths, but it's such a great band song. It's such a great example of what you can do in a cover band. Um, and this is us just kind of rocking up um, a pop song, really. So with a capo, just as a final demo of that solo. Three, four... Sing along with the common people Sing along and I'll just get you through Laugh along with the common people Laugh along the know they're laughing at you And the stupid things that you do Because you can get full as cool which takes us virtually to the end of the song. There are different versions of this. I think the um, the main main version of this song, the sort of original, perhaps album versions, like five and a half minutes long. So there's another verse then, but it's exactly the same. And as I say, this is part of the reason I'm doing this band project to give you guys definitive versions that we're learning from, so you can learn it like this. And then if you want to learn it in another way or do your own thing. Go for it, that's entirely you know, the purpose behind this course. So let's have a look at that solo in total now with the band, and then we're gonna play along to the full band recording. This will be slowed down to 75% speed to give you guys, so you can see exactly what you're doing, but give you guys um, that experience of playing along at a slower speed before we go up to 100% tempo and play along with the full recording. Here's the solo now. Alright guys, so that's all sections of this wicked song, Common People by Pulp. Here's the full band play along now and you're going to have the guitar, my guitar part, at the bottom of the screen all the way through so you can see exactly what you're doing. You'll be able to see Thomas as well, uh, you'll be able to see his parts and exactly what he's doing and this chord sequence and progression is so repetitive and so simple you should be able to experiment a little bit and see your favourite way of playing along with this. You find your way of doing it, have a punk rock attitude and have fun playing along to this wicked song. If it takes a few attempts, we totally appreciate that that might happen. Um, but here it is, full play along version at full tempo, Common People by Pulp. <laughs> She had a thirst for knowledge She studied sculpture at St. Martin's College That's where it all caught her eye She 
told me that her dad was loaded I said in that case I'll have a rum and Coca-Cola She said fun And in 30 seconds time She said I want to live like common people I want to do whatever common people do I want to sleep with common people I want to sleep with common people like you What else? I do. I said, I'll, I'll see what I can do. I took her to a supermarket. I don't know why, but I had to start it somewhere. So it started there. I said, pretend you've got no money. She just laughed and said, oh, you're so funny. I said, yeah. I can't see anyone else smiling Are you sure? You wanna live like common people You wanna do whatever common people do You wanna sleep with common people You wanna sleep with common people like me But she didn't understand She just smiled and held my hand Then So that's Common People by Pulp. Thank you so much for checking out this series. If you made it this far in the video, I really appreciate your support. Please share it with your friends, share it with bass players, uh, other guitar players, and even drummers. We have bass and drum tutorials for all of these songs. I really hope some of you guys go the whole hog and either start or join a cover band, maybe even an originals band as well. Uh, it'd be amazing to be the inspiration for a few originals bands and cover bands up and down the country and even the world. That's a really amazing thing and of course you can check out more videos from this series right now.